On what was meant to be the last day of voting, lines outside polling stations in the capital Cairo were short. In some cases, no voters could be seen at all. Nevertheless, in some parts of the city, residents seem to think there was a lot of enthusiasm for Egypt's presidential poll. Of course, there is a turnout. The proof is that I had to queue. There is a big turnout, lots of people, and it is very well organized. I stood in a long queue. I found my number was there and my name and my ID. It was very easy. How could there be no turnout with all these people standing here? Everyone has come out since morning. The lower-than-expected turnout threatened to undermine the credibility of front-runner and former army chief Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. After Sisi called for record voter participation, low turnout would be seen at home and abroad as a setback for the general who toppled Egypt's first freely elected leader, the Muslim Brotherhood's Mohamed Morsi. The military-backed government decided to extend the vote for a third day, which some saw as a good move. I think it's a fantastic idea because a lot of people were not able to go out because of the hot weather, as well as the old people. It also gives the people more of a chance to go out and vote after seeing many others doing so. So I think on Wednesday, the turnout will be even bigger. The Justice Ministry said Egyptians who did not vote would be fined. Train fares were also waived in an effort to boost the numbers. Sisi faces only one challenger in the election, leftist politician Hamdine Sabahi. His campaign team has complained of violations, including physical assaults on its representatives and what it called intervention by police and army on the first day of voting. This is the second time Egyptians are electing a president in two years. Clementine Logan, CCTV.